First, I want to give a big thanks to Honda of Lao, which made this video possible. So if you're in the market for a brand new or used Honda, make sure you check them out. Their URL is in the description below. Today, I'm behind the wheel of the best-selling sedan in the United States, a 2020 Honda Civic. And this happens to be the sport trim, the most popular trim level for the Honda Civic. Now, Honda sells over 300,000 Civics per year. It is definitely one of the best compact sedans out there. But why is it so good and why do so many people flock to it? Well, in this video, I'm gonna let you know why. Well, starting from the outside, you could tell this current generation of the Civic, Honda spent a lot of time to make it look stylish and modern and sleek. Even from the side, you could see on the sedan, it has a nice profile, a fastback profile that looks unlike anything else out there, at least for this segment. It doesn't matter which side you look, the front, the side, the rear, everything is made very aggressive, bold, edgy. And on the sport trim, you can see in the back, you do have this center exhaust, which actually looks really unique, and also 18 inch alloy wheels, which really completes the stance. As you can see, I'm driving the Civic sedan. However, if you didn't like a sedan, you didn't fancy a sedan, you could go with a two door coupe or even a four door hatchback which is very rare for this class. So there's a lot of different varieties for you to choose from, and I think that's genius on Honda's part. This Civic is a compact sedan. So compared to, let's say, a Toyota Camry, it is 10 inches shorter because a Camry is a midsize sedan. However, there's more legroom up front than a Camry, and there's only a half inch less rear leg room than a Camry. So think about that. And also in terms of trunk space, identical to a Camry. That's another reason why a lot of people love the Civic. It does not feel like a compact sedan. So take a look at the trunk, 15.1 cubic feet of cargo room, which is identical to the Toyota Camry. It's nice and big. And plus, if you want to fold down the seats, the levers are in the back, they're very convenient. Unlike others in this segment where you have to go into the second row to fold down the seats, this is where it should be. And moving into the second row, take a look, I'm five feet 10, and I have probably four inches of leg room left, about three inches of headroom. I don't feel nearly as claustrophobic as say a Toyota Corolla, which I just reviewed. It actually feels very comfortable in the second row. Now, something I noticed in the second row too is how good the seats feel. Usually second row, you know what? Manufacturers kind of just skimp on it. Just give it, give it something, but not in the Civic. It's a combination of some kind of leatherette and cloth. So it actually feels and looks pretty good, but the comfort is what is really surprising. I actually feel really comfortable back there. So in the back, you do get a lot of space. It's very comfortable, however, there's no vents and there's no ports of any kind, no USB ports or 12V outlets. Now, moving up to the front, it's just as spacious as the rear. I feel like there's plenty of headroom. Shoulder room is okay, hip room is okay. I feel very comfortable in this Civic. Now, the seats up here, a little bit more sporty. I feel the bolsters holding my back, but again, just like the rear seats, very comfortable. I find this to be very comfortable seat. Now, on the upper sportier trims of the Civic, they tend to be a little bit firmer and I find them actually to be a little bit less comfortable than the ones in the Sport. So I actually really enjoy these seats. So this is a Sport trim and I mentioned Sport trim is the most popular trim level for the Civic. And that's because it's nicely equipped. For this price range under $23,000, you're getting a whole lot. You get projector headlights, fog lights, also LED tail lights. Those are standard. You also get a nice large seven inch digital gauge cluster. It replaces your speedometer and tachometer. And you can scroll through the menu items to see your trip computer, maintenance schedule, settings, and all that good stuff. You get a seven inch infotainment screen. This is touchscreen and has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which some of its competitors still do not have both. They have one or the other, but not both. You do get that standard in here. Now, this touchscreen, a little bit laggy, not the most responsive. It's been around for a while, but it does get the job done. 
You also get a leather wrapped steering wheel, which actually looks pretty good and feels pretty good. I'm actually impressed with the girth of the steering wheel. It actually feels really good in my hands. And the button layout is pretty easy. There's not a ton of buttons. Also, you get leather wrapped shifter. And I like the shifter because it's not the button style that Honda has adopted in a lot of their other cars. This is still a traditional shifter, which is nice. And you get paddle shifters, which normally you don't get in this segment. In my opinion, this has to be one of the best, if not the best CVT in all the cars I've driven so far. It does not feel in any shape or manner or sound like a CVT. Honestly, you will not know. Now this is mated to a two liter four cylinder that's pushing 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque. This is a natural aspirated engine. You get this within the Sport and uh, the lower trim, the LX. On the upper trims, you get a more powerful 1.5 liter turbo engine pushing 174 horsepower. Now, the asterisk to that, which is really weird, if you do get a Civic Sport hatchback, the engine gets upgraded to 1.5 liter turbo engine, but that one pushes out 180 horsepower. So there is a big jump between this one, 158 horsepower, 180 horsepower. Now, if you guys are interested, I did already review a Civic Hatchback Sport with that engine. So click above now if you want to see my full review video on that car. The armrest is in a good spot. You can move it forward and backwards. However, what's inside is the genius part. You actually have three cup holders. Now the two by default is plenty big. But in case you wanted to put something enormous, a 64 ounce or a two liter, you can. You can slide the, the cup holders back and it reveals a gigantic cup holder. It'll pretty much fit anything. There's also an extra USB port down there. Behind, if you lift up the armrest, you can see there's more storage space for whatever you want. I mentioned about the steering wheel having a good girth, a good size, and it feels good. And that pairs well with the handling. The steering feel itself, it, it has a good weight. It has a good weight to it. It's not very light and it's very enjoyable, especially at low speeds around town. It definitely gets the job done. And the suspension in here is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's handling these roads just fine. It's soaking up all the bumps. It's very comfortable, very smooth. And I feel like the Civic handles these corners very well. Very little body roll. I feel very in controlled. So the whole setup here just gives you a really nice drive and that's part of the beauty of a Civic. The cabin noise in here is very low, very low. For this segment, it's surprisingly quiet in here. There's not much anything. Road noise, very little. Even engine noise, very little, with the exception when you're flooring it, but outside of that, it's very little. No wind noise, cars passing by, nothing. It's really quiet in here. So if you're blasting a radio, there's no way you go hear anything from the outside. And the visibility is quite nice. Nice big windshield. The hood slopes down so much, I can't see it. So you can see well past the hood. Windows, side windows, back window, all pretty big. So visibility all around is quite nice too. And with the Civic, you get Honda Sensing, which is Honda's driver assistant features. It's included free. So you get road departure warning. So if you're swarming out, it'll keep you in the lanes and it'll warn you and get emergency braking. Also adaptive cruise control. That's all standard. The only thing that you don't get is blind spot monitoring, which is missing. But outside of that, you're pretty much getting everything else included free. Other little things that you get, well, sport pedals, they look nice. A push button start, you get a key fob, which opens up the trunk. Also remote start. As you may have noticed, I've been saying nothing but good thing after good thing after good thing after good thing about the Civic. And that's because it's that good. It's really good in all aspects. It's really lovable and it's really hard to nitpick the bad to the Civic. And also what I love is the transmission. You have two options. Now, for those of you guys that want a sportier drive, you want something that's more lively, um, you can't opt for a six-speed manual. That is available. 
with the sport trim of the Civic. And I've driven Civics with six speeds and they're beautiful. The clutch and shifter, they're butter smooth. If you wanna learn stick, you should, you should start with a Civic. So as for pricing, the sedan sport comes in under $23,000, right? A little bit above $22,000. Now, if you want the coupe one, which basically you get the same things, but you get two doors less, and it looks a little bit better. However, that one costs a few hundred more for some reason. You would figure it would be cheaper since there's less sheet metal, right? But somehow Honda priced it a few hundred more, but pretty close. However, the hatchback, the Civic Hatchback Sport, that one comes in a full thousand more. In fact, over a thousand more. And that's mainly due to the more powerful engine, the turbo engine pushing 180 horsepower. And of course, with the hatchback, you do get more cargo room because of the hatch in the back. Uh, but the look is not for everyone. So next, let me sum up the good and bad for you so you can decide if this is the right car for you. As for the good, the Civic Sport has a modern stylish exterior styling. There's enormous amount of interior room. You have comfortable seats in both rows. It is very quiet and the Civic rides beautifully. There's great steering and suspension feel. And finally, the engine and transmission combo works fantastic together. As for the bad, there's no vents or USB ports in the second row. There's no power seats up front or sunroof. And finally, there's no blind spot monitoring. Overall, I'm giving this brand new Civic Sport sedan a score of 89. And if you wanna see how it compares with its peers, check out driversonlyrankings.com. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more reviews, first looks, and news.